Hi, welcome to another video. So today I got my 7 inch TFT from China. So I thought I'll show you the difference. This is obviously the 5 inch TFT display running 16 bit. You might have seen my other videos. And today you might see we've actually got a sunny day. This is 32 watts coming off a 50 watt solar panel. 16.23 volts, a little high on the batteries and exactly 2 amps. Uh, so let me... Uh, that's the current 5 inch display, hopefully you can see the picture. So I thought this picture might degrade putting it onto a larger screen. It seems the other way around. Uh, I'll show you the difference in code. I um, soldered a plug onto this 7 inch display, just so I can plug it straight in. Uh, and it all worked, all syn synchronised and everything but um, the colours were off uh, so I'll show you which register you have to change so that's a closer look at the back of the 7 inch you have to turn it upside down and the SD memory card uh, slot is up there so that's the back of it as I say it's holding that plug on that plugs from Farnell so what I'll do is swap this uh, display over and show you the difference Right, here we are. This is the 7 inch display, just to show you the difference in physical size. So that's the old 5 inch. But now, I don't know if you can notice on the camera, I'm yet to um, ask the supplier, there seems to be a light patch here. Uh, so if that's meant to be light, then that means these bottom corners and this bottom edge is dark. So a bit disappointed with that. If you turn the lights, you might better see it better. But other than that, it's quite a nice image until you get to the picture and you see the colours are all off and that's just one register uh, is upsetting all the colour other than that the, the timing on this uh, you might see my other video for the 5 inch TFT I speeded up the pixel dot clock from 29 megs to 33 uh, and this is a bit faster again uh, I can also reduce the size of the sync pulses that sort of stuff so this generally one runs quicker, even though it's a bigger display. I think my data coming in is corrupt. Um, so what I'll do is show you, I'll, I'll change the register on the PC, show you the correct picture, and then show you what I did with the code. Right, let this update the time, and you might be able to see the, the colours just seem brighter. Uh, the image seems generally sharper, obviously everything's bigger. Um, oh look, and it's sunny outside, it's 31 watts, 16 volts, 1.96 amps. So I'll let you see the picture come up. Maybe I should have uh, put a delay on it, so you could scrutinise the picture. But I'm, yeah, as I say, I'm quite pleased. So plug straight in, no wiring changes or anything. So this works 16-bit wiring. And if you want to know how to get 16 bit wiring, look at my 5 inch TFD. I'll show you on there. So let the picture come around. Yeah, just all the image. Generally cleaner, sharper, brighter, more definition, more contrast on the colours. So I'm very pleased. Apart from this lighter patch here, these are about 35 UK pounds. Uh, what's that, 70, 80 dollars, something like that. So quite pleased. Right, this is the only register I've had to change, this B0 register again, which is the one that gave me all the trouble with the 5 inch display initially, but for the 5 inch TFT you can have a 28 or 38 here, but this 7 inch just won't work with a 28 or 38, I had to put an 18, you can actually on this 7 inch you can put 0, 0, so it disables all the dithering, that sort of stuff. Tells it it's 18-bit uh, colour, not 24-bit. Um, if I bring up the register, you might understand what I mean. Well, so this is the PDF for the SSD 1963 chip. And you'll see this B0 register. Some of the first bits of data. It's whether it's 24-bit or 18-bit colour. And 
the 5 inch doesn't mind either of these but this 7 inch you can't tell it's got 24 bit colour even though we're only running 16 bit I think that's between the SSD 1963 chip and the LCD display, TFT display not between the MCU and the display so there you've got various dithering that sort of stuff um, so the 7 inch seems more forgiving you can put a string of zeros turn all these off but the 5 inch isn't as forgiving but having said that the 5 inch works 18 bit or 24 bit so I've only changed the B0 register so that's all I've changed the panel size is the same I've taken out the 28 or 38 and put an 18 that's all I've done for the 7 inch display I speeded up the clock pixel clock this TFT says the pixel dot clock can run at 33.3 .3 megs so where's the oh you want that number which is that in hexadecimal so that will speed up your clock change the other register and everything else is about the same I've actually reduced some of the sync pulse sizes that sort of stuff have a good look but if you have a look at the 5 inch display this I could leave these figures all the same as the 5 inch and then that last part of the register is just messing about the scrolling so I'm just setting the top and bottom fixed to scroll the middle so to summarize then the only difference really that pixel dot clock frequency set it slightly faster and at first line of the B0 register set it to 18 or 00, zero works or hexadecimal 18 the 5 inch TFT will not work with 18 or 00, zero. so that's it hopefully it's given you some insight to the 7 inch TFT thank you very much